Welcome to our second video on ratios in algebra. I want to continue um, from where we left off in the last video, which was using our intuitive sense of ratios and connecting it to an algebraic expression. And what I mean is we're, we're going to look at a ratio and we're going to ask a question about the ratio, solve it, and then think how could that be solved with an equation. And hopefully we'll start to gain uh, a little bit of sense about what this is happening, start to understand the logic here of how ratios and, and algebra connect. So what's this problem going to be about? Well, let's just make it up. Um, let's say we have a computer lab. So here's my, my room. It's a lab full of computers. They're running perfectly. Everything's going great. And there's three different operating systems in this room. So let's say we have the three operating systems. We have OS X, Windows, right and Linux and we know that in the room there are a total of right let's say I don't know 42 computers and I tell you that okay out of those computers here's the ratio of that relates to these three operating systems with OS X Windows and Linux um, and let's just make that up too the ratio could be let's say 2 to 5, right, to, to 7. And let's say that 2 represents the number of OS X, 5 represents Windows, and 7 represents Linux. I'm not trying to play favorites here, but, but it would be nice if Linux uh, <laughs> is being used that much in a lab, right? It's nice to see that kind of an operating system being used, but anyway, so these are our three operating systems. And the question is, well, how many of each computer are there that are running these operating systems in this lab? So how do we do that? Well, again, this is a, a part to part, right? This means for every, for every two operating systems that are running OS X, there are five running Windows, and there are also seven running Linux. So, so this is a part to part. And that means that we can add these three up, right? 2 plus 5 plus 7, and we get 14, right? And that means for, let's say, every 14 computers, there are two computers running OS X, five running Windows, and seven running Linux. And that's 14 altogether. So the basic sense you have to get with, with ratios is that your goal is to figure out, well, how many times does do groups of 14 fit into the total number of computers in the room, all 42. Because that will help us figure out the number of each computer that are running these operating systems. So the key here, of course, is division. 42, the total number, divided by 14, will tell me how many groups I have of this ratio, right? How many groups of computers? Because this, this group right here, if I just add the ratio up, I only get 14 computers. There are a bunch left in the room. So how many times does that group of 14 fit into 42? Well, well, 14 times 3 is 42. So 42 divided by 14 is 3. And that means, of course, that there are three groups of the 2 to 5 to 7 ratio. Oops, ratio. And to figure out then in total what number of OS X, Windows, and Linux operating systems are in this lab, we take three groups of this ratio, right? In other words, we take three twos, three fives, and three sevens. So multiply everything by three, right? Because that's the number of groups. So we can think of this two times three and get six. Five times three, we get 15. Seven times three, we get 21. Add these three up to check your reasoning, right? I get six plus 15 plus 21. Well, six and 15 is 21 plus 21 is 42. So in this way we're able to figure out how many of each computer there are in the room. But again, this is an algebra playlist, right? All about algebra. How do we how do we connect this this logic to variables and equations? Well, again, the key is the number of groups, right, of the ratio that you have that fit into the total. So the way I think about it is, you know, I have 2 and 5 and 7. 
And I know that I'm going to scale up each part of this ratio by the same amount because I don't want to change the ratio. So that means I'm going to have some number of groups running OS X and the same number of groups, all right, of five computers running Windows and the same number of computers or groups of computers running Linux because we have to multiply each part by the same number. So our goal with that algebra is to find that missing number, right? How many groups are there? So if we add up these three groups, because we're finding the total here, right, we know that it has to eventually equal 42. And now if we solve this equation, we'll actually find the number of groups needed because 2 and 5x and 7x, that's, that's just 14x. And 14x is going to equal, right? In other words, 14 is the, the total number of parts times some number of groups will give me 42 in total. So if I solve for x here, I divide both sides by 14, right? 14's cancel out, and x equals 42 divided by 14, which as we already showed is 3. So by setting up this equation, we get x equals 3, and that's the number of groups we need of this ratio to fit into the total number of computers in the room. And, and, and you might not, you know, this might not be working out for you in terms of the way I set it up here. So you might want to start by combining the three parts and saying, okay, I have 14, right, in total in this ratio. Add up the parts. It's, that's 2 and 5 and 7 out of a total of 14. So I know 14 times something has to equal 42 because this ratio has to fit into the total number of computers in the room. So that might bring you directly to this step right here, which was 14 if I just re rewrite it here, times some number of groups equals 42. And if you solve that equation, you're solving for x, and you'll get three groups, and you're done. Now, now what's interesting is, when I talked through this right here, all these steps about dividing, you know, here you see it, 42 divided by 14 is 3. And to solve for x here, you'll do the same thing. You'll end up doing 42 divided by 14. You'll get 3. I just want to point that out because this intuitive reasoning here is this algebraic reasoning as well. They might look different, but it's, they are the same thing. And that, you know, getting that sense might really help us on our way in the next couple of videos when we look at some tougher problems. All right, thanks.